Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. In last lecture, we discussed Bunge Gutta method. Now, one more method we are going to discuss to solve first order, first degree differential equation that is predictor corrector. Yes, there are various methods which are predictor and corrector that we are going to discuss mainly Millen's predictor corrector. Directly, we are going to solve the problems on predictor corrector method. Only two important formula to remember. First formula which you have to remember is yp. yp means predicted value of y. yp n plus 1 is equal to y n minus 3 plus 4 h by 3 2 f of n minus 2 minus f of n minus 1 plus 2 f n. Yes, I will tell you what is f n, what is f n minus 1, what is f n minus 1. This is y predictive. Now, is once you predict the value, then you have to correct the value. So, y c, y corrector, y c n plus 1 is equal to y n minus 1 plus h by 3, here 4 h by 3, here only h by 3, here y n minus 3, here y n minus 1 plus h by 3, f n minus 1 plus 4 times f n plus f of n plus 1. This is y correct. This is y predict. Now, so directly I am going to solve problem on predictor corrector. The question is like this. Solve the differential equation dy by dx equals 2 plus under root x into y. We are going to solve this differential equation. Also find value of y, value of y at x is equal to 1.8 by predictor corrector where in bracket h is equal to 0 0.2 and the data is given because in predictor corrector method the data is given to you. Okay, this tabular values are given to you. This is x and y. x is 1, y is 1, then x is 1.2, y is 1.6, x is 1.4, y is 2.2771. It is 1.6, 3.034, and x is 1.8. The value of y you have to find. Okay, this is given. The tabular values are given. So try to understand what is there. We are going to use predictor corrector method. To solve this differential equation, find out the value of y at x equal to 0 0.8. Means the solution is available with you. Means value of y at x equal to 1 is 1. Value of y at x equal to 1.2 is 1.6. Value of y at x equal to 1.4 is this thing in this way. Means solutions are given for some values of x. But the solution of this differential equation at x equal to 1.8 is not known. That we have to find. How many x and y are given to you that you have to count? See, initial value of x means first value of x you denote it by x0. Always start from x0. x1, x2, x3, and x4. First value is always y0. Next value is y1. Next to that is y2, y3, and y4. Here, the value of y at x equal to 1.8 we want means value of y4 is required. Now, Write the formula for y4, whether it is predictor formula or corrector formula. The write down formula for y4, if you put n equal to 3, you will get y4 value. This is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2. I am going to predict the value of y4 first. The equation 1 becomes or put n equal to 3 in equation 1. In table, in this table, if the value of y5 is required and the previous values were given to you, value of y5 is, y5 is required and previous values are given. In that case, I would have put here n is equal to 4 so as to get y, yp5. If y6 is required, put n equal to 5 so as to get yp6 like that. So here I want y4, therefore put n equal to 3. If you put n equal to 3, then equation 1 employs y4p is equal to put n equal to 3, 4, h by 3, f put n equal to 3, put n equal to 3 here, put n equal to 3 here. Okay, this is very important. I want y4, that's why I, I did put here n equal to 3. Now, value of y0 is known to me. Value of h is known to you because h is 0 0.2. See here, there is a difference between, what is the difference between 1 and 1.2? It is 0 0.2. Difference between 1 and 1.2 and 1.4 is 0 0.2. Difference between these two is 0 0.2 and difference between these two is 0 0.2. Okay, difference between any two consecutive values is 0 0.2. And also given here h is equal to 0 0.2. 
If it is not given, then it is understood that the edge is 0 0.2, that's all. The edge is 0 0.2, y0 is 0. Now, it remains to find the value of f1, f2, f3. So, those values I am going to find separately. See, here, I am going to find out values separately. The f1 is what? It is f1, x1, y1. x1 is 1.2 y1 is 1.6 function is like 2 plus under root xy means here all function f of xy is equal to 2 plus under root xy 2 plus under root x into y 1.2 into 1.6 now f1 is equal to 3.3856 f2 how to get f2 is function of x2 y2 and function of x2 x2 is 1.4 comma y2 is 2.2771 and this is equal to f of x comma y f of x comma y is 2 plus under root x into y this 1.4 multiplied by 2.2771 and this is equal to f2 is equal to 2 plus under root this thus you have the calculation and the value of f2 i am writing directly is 3.2 9696. Now find value of f3. So separately here I am going to find out value of f3. f3 is function of x3 y3 and f3 is x3 is what? This is 1.6 and y3 is what? 3.0342. It is given and f of x comma y is 2 plus under root 2 plus under root 1.6 into 3.0342 and it is coming to be 4.20 directly writing 4.2033. Means in this way f1, f2, f3 we have calculated. So putting all those values here, y0, y0 is what? 1, 4, h, h is 0 0.2 that is given. 2 times f1 is 3.3856. F2 is what? 3.9696 plus 2 times f3 is what? 4.2033. Now, if you calculate this y4p, y4p is what? Value of y at x equal to 1.8, the predicted value. And the predicted value is 3.9853. So, this is predicted value. Now, this predicted value we have to correct using corrective formula. Means yp4 I found. Now, yc4 I found. So, how do you get yc4? Put n equal to 3. If you put n equal to 3 here, so yc4 equal to, put n equal to 3, means y2, 3 minus 1, h y3, h is 0 0.2, fn minus 1 means what? I am putting n equal to 3, f of 3 minus 2 is f2, 4, putting n equal to 3, f3, f of 3 plus 1 is f4. Now, to put all values, available values y2 is available, what is y2, 2.2771, 2.2771 plus h by 3, f2 is available, 3.9696 which is available, 4 times, f3 is available, 4.2033 plus f4, f4, we didn't find f4 because y4 is not available f4 is the predicted value of y predicted value of y at x equal to 1.8 so this value is 3.985 predicted value okay this is important now if you have the calculation the yc4 is what 3.9729 what is the predicted value 3.9852 and what is the corrected value 3.9729 so normally, the predicted value and the corrected value, if these two are closer to each other, see there is no significant difference, it is 0 0.9729 and 0 0.985, there is no significant difference, then we can stop here. But if you want to improve it, you can improve it. Use this as find the predict this as the predicted value and go on finding the updated value and in this way you can. But in the examination, if the question is asked like this, just you find out the predicted value and just you find out the corrected value, that's all. Uh, one more sum on predictor-corrected formula. Second, 
numerical solution of the differential equation dy by dx is equal to x minus y square is tabulated as the values of x and y are given. The solution of differential equation at x equal to 0 is y equal to 0. Solution of this differential equation at x equal to 0 0.2, the y is solution of the, this differential equation at x equal to 0 0.4 is 0 0.0795 at 0 0.6 it is 0 0.1762 and at x equal to 0 0.8 this value is required. This is the solution of this differential equation at various values of x. The solution of this differential equation x equal to 0 0.8 is not known to you. So that we have to find using predictor corrector formula. Find y at x equal to 0 0.8 by Billings predictor corrector method. What is the difference between the last sum and this one? Only function is changed. The values of x are, x are changed. Value little bit changes in y values you can find. In this formula, put as we want y4, to put n equal to 3 in equation 1. We get, because this is general formula. As per requirement, y4 is required, then putting n equal to 3. What is the predicted value of yp4? Because I am putting n equal to 3. Putting n equal to 3 here or h by 3 as it is. Putting n equal to 3. Putting n equal to 3. Putting n equal to 3. This yp4. yc4 also the formula I am writing yc4. This is equation 3. And yc4 will be what? Put n equal to 3. Put n equal to 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. h by 3 as it is. n equal to 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. Put n equal to 3. Put n equal to 3. The predicted value I will find. So this predicted value requires f1, f2, f3. All these f1, f2, f3 I am going to find separately. See here I am going to find. f1 in previous lecture. How will you find f1? f1 is function of x1, y. Function of x1, y. x1 is what? 0 0.2 and y1 is 0 0.0. And f1 function of x y is x minus y square means x minus y square 0 0.2 minus 0 0.02 whole square 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 whole square is 0 0.1996 this is the value of f1 as we have done in the previous problem f2 is required f2 means function of x to y that's all instead of this f2 you can write f also f2 is function of x to y2 x to y2 is what 0 0.4 comma 0 0.0795 function is defined like this function of x comma y is x minus y square x minus y square 0 0.4 minus this square the value of f2 if you use calculator and get the value the f2 is 0 0.3937 one more f is required that is f3 f3 is function of x3 y3 x3 and y3 known to you is from table x3 is 0 0.6 y3 is uh, 0 0.1762 and function of x comma y is x minus y square x minus y square the calculation the final value of f3 is coming to 0 0.5689 so putting all those values of f1 f2 f3 here in equation 3 the equation 3 gives yp4 is equal to y0 is 0, h is 0 0.2, see here h is not given but from the table value it is understood that the difference between first two values, difference between next two values is 0 0.2 f1, f1 is 0 0.1996, f2 0 0.3937, f3 0 0.5689 and if you calculate it, predicted value of y means fourth value, predicted value of y is coming to be 0 0.304. To use corrector formula, this formula, the in equation 4, value of f4 also I am going to find. f4 means f of x4, y4. And f, f of function of x4, x4 is equal to 0 0.8. Uh, predicted value of y is this value. 0.3041 now f4 f of x comma y is x 
minus y square 0 0.304 minus whole square and this is equal to 0 0.707 f1 f2 f3 we found we have calculated predicted value of y and the value of f4 is required and this f4 requires y4 also In this y4 i have taken the predicted value now use the yc4 formula here yc4 is equal to y2 0 0.0795 plus h by 3 h means what 0 0.2 by 3 f2 f2 is what 0 0.3937 F3, F3 is what? 0 0.5689 and F4, F4 is this value and the final calculation is coming to be 0 0.3046. This is predicted value and this is corrected. See the difference between predicted and corrected value. Here, the, there is no significant difference between predicted and corrected value. Therefore, this is the solution, this is the value. What is this? This is the value of y at x equal to 0 0.8. So we stop here. Thank you very much.